Good evening and welcome back to Cricket Captain 2024 and welcome to a brand new series. Here we go guys, a brand new series. This is the third series of Cricket Captain 2024 we have been running on the channel and this time you guys picked it. You guys picked the team, you guys picked the division, the league, all of it. We did a couple of polls on the community tab on the channel and they went from like uh, the first poll, the round one of like New Zealand uh, domestic cricket, West Indies domestic cricket or South African domestic cricket and West Indies. It won by a landslide. There was like, I don't know, so many votes in it. It was it was a landslide. Honestly, it was way, way, way too many votes to, to, to not listen to it. And then it came down to, OK, which teams are we going to pick? Which teams are we going to play as? Uh, there were six options Leewood, Wimwood, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, Antigua and Barbuda. Um, actually, I think Antigua and Barbuda kind of comes under one of the Wimwoods ones. So it might have been um, something a little bit different. There we go. Yeah. So Barbados, Guyana, Jamaica, Leewood Islands, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, Wimwood Islands. But then if you look at the T20 trophy, it's actually a bit different. You've got Barbados, Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, Wimwood, Leewood, and then Antigua and Barbuda. And you look over here. I think the only difference is the Guyana. No, Guyana are in both. Trinidad are in both. Um, Leeward Islands are in both. Windward Islands are in both. Is it Jamaica who's not in the T20? Yeah, so it's it's Jamaica who aren't in the T20 trophy, which means if we had played as Jamaica, we wouldn't have been playing any T20s. But the team that won out was Barbados. So Barbados do play in the four-day, in the 50-over, and in the T20 competition. Take a look at the Barbados in the T20s. Performance wise, they won it in 19. Since then, got a runner up in 22, but nothing else kind of close to that top spot. You know, fifth, fifth, sixth, sixth. So, really, really up and down there from Barbados in the T20. And um, we can't actually check other competitions just yet. But these are, I need to rename all of these competitions and stuff like that, which I will do. But I want to get this first episode out, done and dusted, and uh, rename all those competitions. And that'll be for episode two. So the first game we're going to play, actually, the first thing we should probably do, look at the squad. You can see the squad that we've got going into this um, into this T20s. It's quite small. It's not the biggest squad. Because it's a squad that is picked for this specific competition, not the biggest squad. Now you've got about 15 players, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Only 17 players. You do not have that many players you got a lot of players in here who are you know playing for the west indies a lot of the time jason holders in there you've got athenaise in fact is that the same athenaise i think it is i think it is you've got loads more you got robin powell you've got some good players like david miller as well i mean coming over playing for barbados as well so you've got quentin de Kock in there as well maharaj as well you've got a lot of good players in this squad but the thing is we hit continue and get to this first match in the T20 uh, in the T20 season. We're actually starting the, the season in April. You can see it started on the 1st of April 24 there. First game is the 29th of August, which is actually not that far away from the date I'm recording this. So um, we've got to get to that date first. T20 World Cup is going on. India beat Australia in the final. And obviously in the New South Wales save and in the Gloucestershire save, these tournaments are also happening and you might be getting a different winner in those matches and stuff like that. So it's a little bit weird, a little bit cool and um, you kind of get different stuff. There's England versus Sri Lanka and here we go, coach and physio, first thing. So let's give some batting practice on low form players. Um, Quentin de Kock is here, so we will be able to use him. However, some others are away on international duties, it looks like. Okay, batting practice in there as well. Um, get some bowling practice in as well. Not for everyone though, but we do want to make sure our bowling is looking good. Two physio sessions as well. Yep, you go for a physio, buddy. And kind of hard to see who really needs it. So let's go for Thorn as well with another physio session. We've got two more. Um, training sessions as well. So with a bowling practice for Skilly and Clark. Ah, oh, there we go. It's always good to have someone doing some keeping as well. But this is a bit of a weird one um, because 
starting the season with the Barbados T20 team, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. You know, it's not going in with kind of like first class and one day stuff first. It's just straight in T20 competition. Go and do your best. And it's it's almost like okay, we're just thrown in into the deep end. Do your best. See what you can come out come out with. So, and um, let's look at the. 20 over trophy results around us. It looks like that game there was the first one. Antigua versus Leeward Islands. Is that not a finished fixture? Are we actually not there yet? Oh no, we're not actually there yet. So we've got to skip through a couple of days. There we go. We can see what happened. So the Leeward Islands hit 164. No, Antigua hit 164. Leeward Islands chased it down with two overs to spare, actually. Not bad. That's Chris Green. We played with him. Um, in the New South Wales save as well. Bradley Rousseau smacking, smacking runs as well. Nice. That's nice, nice. Teddy Bishop smacking runs as well. Good to see, good to see. Okay, next up, got Antigua and Barbuda beat Guyana. Leeward Islands won their second game against Trinidad and Tobago. So we look at the... Yeah, we haven't played a game yet, and some teams have already won two. We played 10 matches total, so... Yeah, okay, not too much, not too bad. We've got 10 matches. Top four go into the finals, and you go into one of these qualifiers. Okay, so that's exactly how it works in the big bash as well. You got a qualifier. So first place, second, whoever wins that goes straight into the final. The loser of that goes into this game. Third place, fourth, the winner goes into this game, and the winner of that makes up the final there. So let's go. Let's just get straight into it. We're going to have to try and pick a bit on form as well as on kind of star power here. As Miller is captain, he's out of form though. I mean, a lot of experience. Look at that. We've got, we got a good number of experienced players in this squad. Is it only two players or is it three players we can have from last year plus one and work on those batting averages see what we've got here not a lot really but really i mean maharaj got a one star bring in simmons and see if maharaj can get some form going um and is only two not even two stars let's go with elaine yeah i think that's where we're going to start that's where we're going to start conditions wise oh we might actually wear in the second Half of the match, so we might want to bring bring Maharaj back. At least Sealy, we can't play that many. But there we go. We'll bring Sealy in, slow left arm. It does feel a bit silly to not play Maharaj. I mean, absolute kind of force. You can see he's played a lot of cricket. Absolute force with the ball, and gets a decent average in the T20s or 16. It's not bad. Quickly check our batting order. So, 11 for Thorn. Um, doesn't actually say for Sealy. So, that's interesting. Um, all Hack prefers 10. So, Sealy will move up. Simmons prefers 11. So, we've got a long tail here. So, again, everyone will move up. Um, De Kock and Cornwall will open. Elaine prefers to bat Number eight. So move him down to number well, number seven because Sealy will be even lower. So Jason Holder, where do you like to bat? Number seven, but he's in at six. Robin Powell in at five, which is actually correct. We don't mind that. 20 over number four for Wickham. Miller also likes number five. So let's swap those two around. Then the Cock and Cornwall have to start together. More we'll hit start. We'll call tails and we see what, what, what they were going to bowl. There we go. We'll see what happens here. First game, new save, new background, new thumbnail. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do our best. We're gonna have a real good game here. Let's do our best. Okay, so get the aggression down a little bit. Bowl on the front foot and maybe even open up the offside for that bowler. Same over here, really. Opening up the offside and the. The pace, but bad idea to maybe start with a couple of singles, dot balls. Lovely start. That's not bad. Okay, then a big six from Fakazaman. To be fair, yeah, you might you might struggle to stop him doing that. 
Okay, there we go. That's actually not the worst first over. It's only gone for nine. We're going to bring some spin on now with Seeley. Um, Seeley, who has played what? This is his first ever game of any format of professional cricket. Good luck. You're bowling against Fakas Aman. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, bud. Okay, get that template going. Drop the offside. Try and cover that single and, and give him the offside. Okay. Same on this side, kind of. Just letting him have the offside. And a dot ball to start. Lovely. Followed by a single. And then another six. Dang it. Brandon King actually nailing that one. And again, it's, it's an over that's gone for nine. Only kind of outlier is that six. That six doesn't go. You've got an over of four. You've got an over of five. The worst. So let's see if we can recover that this time around. Thorn to King. Here we go. That's on the pads, but I'm not sure. Must have been going down. There we go. A much better over. That one literally, that's gone for two with an LBW shout in there. Really well done from Thorn. Now, can Seeley bring it back? Okay, man's found a four there. So let's throw that man back. Bring in Gully Point. And it's actually not the worst. It's not the worst. He's going, he's going at 8.5s. So it's not a great start. But again, first ever time playing. We're learning this game. We're learning this team. Another chance here. Thorn against King. Well, that's in the air. I'm very high, though. And it's taken. Lovely. Well, Hack takes the catch. Brings in Teddy Bishop from the West Indies Academy. Remember, Buddha. Okay. See, back foot, leg side. So we're bowling the right stuff already. And it could be two and two. In fact, it will be two and two. There we go. First ball, a lovely stuff. Okay, Seeley, we're going to take a break. Who are we going to go to? I think we're going to go to Jason Holder. See what happens here with Jason Holder. So, yep, yeah, I'm okay with that, that field. Again, we're going to stick with the offside plan here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that, I just clicked the over. It was an expensive over. But nevertheless, Thorn carries on. We're going to wrap up the... Ah, uh, no balls, not helpful. Wrap up the set with Thorn. That's fine. And that's actually not too bad. That's a pretty good, pretty good start from Thorn. Holder's going to have to take a break because that was a real bad, real bad set. Thank you for that. A bit more like that yeah okay some big scores there we can we can drop the field now because yeah we can drop the field now okay good as we try and contain and we do contain and that over's only gone for six not a bad start not a bad over simmons will now come on and we're basically going to do the same kind of stuff we're going to drop some of the fielders where we need to and try and just contain a little bit. Okay. Don't mind the singles. That's close, but won't be out. Fine. Big six from Greaves. Wow. But maybe gone. Not quite. No edge. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. It's only gone for nine. Holder went for 17. So it's almost like you don't really want to bowl him again. We'll hack two greaves. That's in the air. We've got fielders back. And we've got it taken. Lovely catch. Even though he hit a big six there. You can see he only hit a six. The same with King here. They hit a big six. Other than that, they couldn't get the ball away. There's dot balls. There's singles. Ultimately, we're, we're taking wickets that we do need to be taking. So continue that on. That's a good four. That's gone right past the fielder. That one's gone to the leg side. Okay. Try and cover that, cover that, cover that. And we might just have taken another wicket. So two fours and then out next ball, which is, you know, here for a good time. On for leg side. Again, we're going to the offside. This is Imad Wazim, Pakistani. Just sees off the first ball for a dot. That's fine. Two wickets in that all hack over. What an over. Really, really good stuff. Um, Even though, even though 79 after 10 overs, they are looking for... And oh, okay, send him back. They are looking like a decent score is on the cards. 
we were able to contain slash keep taking wickets. Got four. We're going at eight. Got to keep going. Singles all around. That's fine. Dot balls are oh, another six. Come on. It's almost like it, it. they need to... Like, the game has to load in a six. Otherwise, it doesn't feel like it's playing T20 or something like that. You know, it feels a bit silly. But they are going to be going for those kind of shots. They're going to run for the two. They are. That's going to be out. There's no way there's two there. That's gone. Yeah, Wazim's gone. That brings in Chris Green. Rolling leg side. Let's go to that front foot then. And maybe changing that line is going to do it. It might just... No, he gets away with it. Gets a single off the edge. Bring you in because he hasn't scored through there. Simmons too green. Another chance. Inside edge. Lower edge. Under edge. Brings in Shamar Springer. Back for leg side. So we're actually already bowling the correct line. And that's really helpful because it takes another wicket. There we go. Another first baller. That's two. Two. We've gotten for seven. Three more wickets. And we'll be chasing a very tidy lower score. What we're after. A pace. So maybe, maybe. Time to go back to some spin. Let's go to Wickham. See what happens with a bit of spin. Drop that leg side field. And see what happens there. Drop the leg side. So we're basically playing the exact same field on both sides here. Um, to both batsmen even. Trying to stop those singles. Trying to stop the boundaries where we can. Dot ball to start. Dot ball followed by four. So how did that get through? It went out. Why? Because I'm covering the same line. Now Wickham to James. Get another wicket. We've got him down for eight. And this is a really good start. And there it is. Inside edge. Another. Another first baller. Hayden Walsh comes to the crease. Okay. Drop the offside field as we have done. Okay. In fact, we could save that as T20 slow offside that is that's perfect that's what we've set for this field okay the man on 61 is actually doing really well really really well Bowling simmons again or oh, very straight hard to stop that unless the bowler stops it himself i don't think that's out that's a good over it's only gone for seven and their run rate is kind of dipping Almost a maiden. Almost a maiden. Only two from it, though. What an over from Wickham. Let's go back to the spin. Yeah, I think that's the best option. Drop. Go back to the spin. It is working. That's looking a little bit... Okay. I don't know when the last time they hit a boundary was. It's probably more recent than I'm thinking. But, oh, there, okay, there's a big six. And another one. Okay, change that line. Okay, much better. So we don't want to bowl it into the slot if he's going to, like, nail it like that. Those two sixes have really damaged us. On 26 from 18, he's actually going a real good strike rate. The second best of the innings. So. And then an over of singles. Actually fine. And then, okay, of course, just smacks it at the end, gets to 81, 161. Has a test going, England are 1152 with a low score from Crawley. Okay. Quentin de Kock, Raheem Cornwall, you're going to have to go big, you're going to have to get some runs. Basically, we're going to have to go big pretty dang early here. Is that off the edge? Is that why that's as. Okay, sure. Okay, Quinton, please have a swing, buddy. There we go. There we go. Exactly what we're after. Have a swing. Find the boundary rope one way or another. Bring it to Cornwall. Oh, that's a good boy. It's kind of cut in half. Let's up his rate as well. See if you can have a swing as well, buddy. There we go. Another six. Wow, it's a bit controlled in the way... Well, it feels a bit controlled. When I tell them to have a swing, they go for it. But yeah, a bit of an odd one. No, nope, that's outside the line, but 
Okay, run or two, get some leg bars, kind of rescue the over at the end there. We are ahead of the Duckworth Lewis. Be an idea to drop that a little bit. We don't want to get out silly. We've got 140 odd runs. Oh, it might be gone. It is gone. Yeah. Wickham comes in. And a lot of our runs, you would have thought, are going to come from Quentin de Kock. Um, Cornwall smacked another six. That's pretty useful from the lad. But running out Quentin de Kock was not the best thing to do. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Okay, Wickham on strike. Puts that away very nicely. Very nicely. What a bad start here. Okay, another chance. Well, that's off the pads. Nothing doing, though. Another chance. And the same result. No, that's even bigger. No, it is a four. One bounce must have been. That flew off the bat. Eight off the over. Okay. Nicely done. Okay. Very nice. Missfield? No, not really. Just beating the fielder there. Nicely done. We're still ahead of that. Duckworth Lewis by a little bit. Best first six over. Now the spin is coming on. Okay. How are we going to react to the spin coming on? That's a good question. And there's your answer. We're going to get out first ball. Ah. Okay. Wickham's going to go more aggressive. Miller's going to try and get Wickham on strike. No, David Miller's going to keep hogging the strike. You're not timing it. You're not really doing anything. Finally, you get a boundary. That's good. Miller can take a game away. So that's why I'm not so worried about him eating a few deliveries. This is too many now. But at least he's kind of helping him get set. Not really. Not really. We're, we're going to be behind the rain now. We've got to pick it up. There is Wickham answering that. Nice shot. Okay, so we need 98 of the last 10. A lot of runs. But two or three good overs of 10 plus. Yeah, so Miller came in and just kind of ate deliveries and did nothing with them. So, yeah, not the best. Not the best kind of setting the, setting the standard. You know what I mean? Setting the... Uh, Standard that we want to try and hit with our captain there. <laughs> Come in, eat a few deliveries, bound, yeah, do, yeah, a few dot balls, and then, uh, yeah, do nothing with it. Get out for 19. Wide ball, that helps us out. This has actually been a good over despite David Miller getting out. So, here we go. We'll take a single, and Robin Powell stays on strike, which I'm not opposed to at all. Green is bowling really well. Nine dot balls out of 12. He is bold. Now, all singles. Follow it up with a boundary. No. Okay. Head out. <laughs> um, four off that over. Chris Green is bowling very well. Look at that economy of 3.7. We need to we need to do some damage here against uh, Walsh. We really do. We did damage in the first over he bowled. We've got to do it again. There we go. There's another one. There's four runs off the kind of late cut. Goes for four. We'll take it. 87 for four now. That's in the air. It might be taken. It might be safe. It is safe. Jason Holder gets a boundary. This field that they've got set is really weird. It's like they're not really covering boundaries. And again, Holder just picks out the fielder. There's a guy sweeping back. So, you know what? I'm going to aim it for him. Silly. Still, 11 off the over. We we'll still need 9.8 as the rate. Wickham's doing all right if he keeps going. I knew, I knew it as soon as I said it. I knew it as soon as I said it. Green and Walsh taking all the wickets. This is clearly Binner's pitch. Perhaps I wouldn't be chasing so much if I didn't bowl so much pace. Come on, Seely. <laughs> to be fair, maybe he's batting a little bit high up, but still. Running a quick single. We'll just get home. That's all right. And that's a good shot from All Hack. That's pretty nice. Um, needs to go at 10s. 20 runs behind the duck. I've six overs to go. Let's see. I'm going to... I want to go aggressive because I still want to try and win the game, which is always... Okay, never mind. All Hack just really missed one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bat the overs. 
and not really worry so much about the game now because the game is gone we're eight down 103 um if we can get through our 20 it's going to damage our uh, net run rate a lot less and any runs we do get is a bit of a bonus it's going to help us out it's not the mindset it's not the mindset at all but when your players are kind of getting out in the way we're getting out, Miller, the cold game run out, Robin Powell just picking out fielder, Jason Holder just picking out fielder, you're like, these are your star players. What are they doing? But if we can get to 130, you know that the, the net run rate, never mind, okay, never mind. Thorne gets a six ball duck to round things off. We don't bat the overs, but we are quite close. It does mean we're going to start with a negative 2.1. That is rough. That does not that <laughs> that is not the kind of start we were after. But it's only one game. Teams have played three games. No one has won a game except these two. That is kind of crazy. Hit continue. And next up, Leeward Islands. They're up in first. They've, they've played five. Some, they've played five games. We've played one. This is nuts. This is insane. But. It is what it is, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. this. is the first episode of a new save picked by you guys, picked by everyone. Not the start we wanted with losing a game like that, but we've got to learn the team. We've got to learn the situation, learn the competition, and uh, we will do that over time. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I shall catch you next time.